Hey everyone, welcome to another vlog of mine. So, I'm going to be talking about uh, Spider-Man Far From Home. So, if you don't want to be spoiled, just give me a heads up. Um, but before I go into spoilery uh, type stuff, two, uh, just one thing. There are scenes during the credits. There's two of them. One of them is important, and I'll be talking about it. The other one is also important, but also has a comedy part to it so if you don't want to be spoiled this is where you get off the YouTube video and you go see Spider-Man Far From Home and then you come back and you can listen to me talk about it or if you don't care then continue on watching it's up to you so five four three two one you've been warned okay so First things first, I'm going to get out of the way, is the end scene credits. First one, uh, it continues from where it ends with uh, Spider-Man, a.k.a. Peter Parker, and MJ uh, together swinging uh, and uh, down in Manhattan, like New York, downtown Manhattan area, I think. And uh, I'm going to turn on this fan because I'm freaking hot. And... Um, then a uh, video is released saying that uh, Spider-Man is there uh, was behind the the uh, the London situation and that uh, you find out that uh, or he, re he reveals that he's Peter Parker so there's that and, and he actually shows a picture of his face so you know so people know that he's Peter Parker so I feel like uh, with the next Spider-Man he, he's gonna be on the run trying to figure out what to do and I feel like the other Avengers are probably gonna be there to help him out uh, for this uh, situation um, then the next uh, end scene credit which is at the very end uh, you end up finding out that Maria Hill and uh, Nick Fury weren't actually Maria Hill and Nick Fury. They were one of those uh, shapeshifters from uh, Captain Marvel, the green ones. Um, so that might be a setup for the next Avengers, or not the next Avengers, uh, the next uh, Captain Marvel movie. So we'll see how that goes um i'm not 100 percent sure if that's actually how it goes but there is a comedy effect to it in the sense that once the phone call is done um they go to the actual nick fury that who looks like he's on a beach but in actual fact is on a ship somewhere or a spaceship somewhere so that's kind of interesting uh so uh, let's just go through the broad uh, talks about um, overall I think they did an amazing job with Mysterio his visual effects uh, the uh, camera work is just amazing from top to bottom first for Mysterio I loved it it was great freaking amazing now Putting that aside, I do feel the whole uh, Mysterio actually being a bad guy from their world and not from another world was kind of obvious. Um, if you know anything about Spider-Man whatsoever, you know that Mysterio is a bad guy and that he will make people think other things because he's um, in this universe uh, the Marvel Universe he worked for Tony Stark if you go back to Captain America Civil War uh, where Iron Man shows a younger version of him talking to his parents Jake Gyllenhaal's character created that technology uh, so it goes all the way back to that movie so it's making a reference to that movie and so that's where he get he so because he's the one who created that technology not Tony Stark so um, 
it was very interesting to see uh, what they had. So all the monsters, the elementals, I don't know how to say it, but the Molt Man, the Hydro Man, all the others, they're just, uh, um, what's it called? Uh, not visual effects, but like, well, I mean, obviously they're visual effects, but in the movie sense, they were um, projections by machines. So, um, but it was cool the way they did it, even though I knew that he was a bad guy. But it also makes you wonder whether it's a one and done situation because, and this is a major spoiler, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal's character ends up dying at the end of the movie. Uh, not by Spider-Man hands, but by uh, one of the drones accidentally shooting him uh, as Spider-Man's trying to uh, not get killed. Uh, so I'm kind of curious on whether the Mysterio character will still live on because uh, there's another character uh, from that makes reference to the very first Iron Man movie. Um, and he downloads something onto a computer. So I don't know if it's the program that makes the uh, holograms uh, real to make it look like Jake Gyllenhaal's Mysterio is around when he really isn't. So that to me is going to be interesting to see if they uh, bring him back for the, uh, the holograms for the next Spider-Man movie, which I assume will come out in a few years. Um, uh, I, I do feel like um, everybody in the world finding out who the real Spider-Man is was kind of too much in my opinion, but I don't know. I, I still feel like they should have addressed how um, at the end of Avengers, uh, or not Avengers, at the end of um, Spider-Man Homecoming, how uh, Marissa Tomei's character Aunt May uh, found out about oh, Peter Parker being Spider-Man. Because at the end, she's like, what the f And then, like, she swears. But they cut out just before then. And... Like, I, I'm, to me, I'm kind of wondering how she went from that to, oh, a uh, high five for doing this uh, charity thing or whatever. So that kind of makes me wonder how that was possible. Um, the uh, Mysterio part of him uh, making Spider-Man think that he's somewhere when he's actually somewhere else was amazingly done visual effects were awesome for those scenes I loved it I think it was perfect I to be honest I don't think in a way of like TV show wise or uh, movie wise if like whether a cartoon or live action they have done a Mysterio character as well as this version as far as I can tell so I think that was awesome um, I'm trying to think of anything else to talk about. Uh, one thing I didn't get was, uh, I'm forgetting his name, but uh, uh, Sp Peter Parker's friend uh, and uh, Betty Brat, I think her name is, they, they become a boyfriend and girlfriend. And then at the end of it, at the end of the trip, they end up breaking up. What was the point of them being together if they're just gonna break up uh, at the end of the movie? It just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I, I I don't understand why they were together to begin with. Like it just like because they kind of set him, uh, Peter Parker's friend, up with oh he's gonna go after uh, foreign ladies, uh, and I thought that was gonna be a little bit more of that thing, and I thought that would have made a little bit more sense. Um, but yeah, and I do love the uh, Tony Stark glasses that Tony Stark gave to um, uh, the f the fake Nick Fury to uh, Peter Parker. Uh, I thought that was cool little hey type of thing. 
I was kind of curious on what the, uh, whether they were going to have a CI or AI that had, was the voice of Tony Stark, so they could technically still have Robert Downey Jr., but just as a very smaller role. But I guess Tony Stark or Robert Downey Jr. wouldn't do that type of thing. But anyways, uh, like I said, as a whole, awesome movie. One of the best Spider-Man movies I've seen. Uh, looking forward to what the next Spider-Man movie is going to be about. Um, there is no multiverse, by the way. Uh, that was all fake because obviously Mysterio was n not from another world if he was in Captain America Civil War. So, anyways, uh, whenever you watch this, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, and please go see uh, Spider-Man Far From Home. And don't forget to see Spider-Man Homecoming before so you can at least remind yourself uh, what happened. So, anyways, bye.